Hi campers, this is Darren with My RV Works. Today we are in Union, Washington. Oh my gosh, is that the sun? Ah, oh, it's too bright. So we're coming out of the, the winter, we're coming into spring. It's actually getting warm, it's exciting. We got Hood Canal back behind us and the Olympic Mountains, they're so beautiful with their snow on them. Uh, we were up there with some friends just the other day playing in the snow. So today what we have for you is we have this road trek and we're gonna be doing several things on this road trek. So uh, what this is going to be is a preventative maintenance type of a service call. Uh, there's really nothing wrong with this, but we're going to be checking different systems on that so that they can go have an entire summer long of travel and fun and knowing that everything's gonna be working great for them. So, so follow along. Um, the idea I think is to break this up into several small videos and um, so you can pick and choose which one you need to watch. So here we go, let's go have some fun making sure that they have a happy camping experience. When you're doing your annual uh, inspection on your RV, one of the areas that I really want you to focus on is your service panel here. Now I've taken the screws off, but uh, and we've also verified that our um, uh, shore cord is unplugged and I've put a lockout on that so no one can come by and plug me back in energizing our AC circuit. So when this thing's totally dead, um, then it's just a bunch of screws. There's nothing intimidating about this at all. Now, one thing I want to draw your attention to is you have screws. Well, let me mention this, okay? On an RV, it's very different than on a house, okay? Um, I kind of came up through the electrician trade, um, residential, commercial, industrial, etc. That's kind of my background. Um, but in a house, in an industrial setting, in a commercial setting, the neutral bar and the bus bar are bonded together, okay? In an RV, they are not bonded together. Neutral is separate and ground is separate. The only place these get bonded is on the pedestal where your shore cord gets connected. So if you're an electrician, you're watching this, that might be part of the problem is that the, the, the neutral and the ground should never be bus. They should always be totally separate, okay? Uh, if you're interested in becoming a certified technician, one of the questions they ask you on your task is uh, what to do with the ground bar um, the neutral ground bus bar in a panel. Well, you should throw it away. So there's your test question. There's your answer. Now, the question here is how tight should you tighten these? And that's what I want to draw your attention to. Now on this panel, if I'm reaching for it here, you'll notice, let me just kind of hold it up here. If you look right there, um, it'll tell you the torque rating. Okay, so the the um, the the breaker. I'll show you where the breaker torque number is. The neutral bus wants to be 35 inch pounds, and the ground should be 35 inch pounds. Okay, depending on the gauge of wire. So all ours is uh, 14 gauge wire, um, four, 12 and 14 gauge wire. So we're going to make that to 25 inch pounds, and then the uh, the neutral bus we're going to make it 35 inch pounds. Now the next question is, well, how tight? So that would be neutral neutral and ground. So where, how tight do you tighten these screws right here? Again, all this has been turned off and it's been locked out. So let's just grab one of these breakers out and let's see if it's on this side or the other. Right there you have the torque, okay? So we have a 14 gauge wire coming in, so we need that to be 20 inch pounds of torque, okay? So there's a thing called a torquing screwdriver and uh, the torquing screwdriver, you set it and you turn it until it tw uh, snaps. So let me show you that next. So this is a torquing screwdriver I have. There are several on the market. I don't know if you can figure out the part number, but just do a Google search for torquing screwdriver. And um, so on mine, uh, there's a window right there, and I've already got it set to 20 inch pounds. Um, so you see this plus and minus by turning this handle inside of this handle, um, I'm setting the torque value. Okay, so uh, the other one snapped out. So that's a, that's a number two square. And that's what all of the uh, screws are. So I'm set at 20 inch pounds, and that's going to be my breakers. But now listen for the screwdriver to make a snap sound. So these are 20, right? There, did you hear that? Right there. And I was able to get a little bit of a turn out of that, wasn't I? So I see that there's paint on there, but you know, as an electrician, I'm not going to trust the paint. And uh, I've actually done several jobs where I've come behind, or I've done jobs on RVs, and guess what the problem was? A loose electrical fitting. So we're going to make a turn here. That one's ready to go. That one's all set. Let me look through there. Okay, turning. Good. This one's loose. Quite a bit loose. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. So now we know that all these are set to 20 inch pounds. I'm going to reset. I'll make these to 25 and I'll make these to 35, but just see what we got to do. 
So these I'm gonna set to 25. That one's ready. That one was a little bit, quite a bit loose. I got a half a turn out of it. Very loose right here. Very loose, a whole turn. Very loose again. Okay, so these ground screws, quite a few of them are loose. Just because I had paint on them does not prove that they're set right. So now I'm gonna reset to 35 inch pounds. Okay, I've now reset my torquing screwdriver to 35 inch pounds. I'll start at the top here. Um, loose. Okay, so as you see, that one's very loose. So I need two hands on these because 35 is a little bit tough with holding this awkwardly, but I'm going to make sure that all these are set to 35 inch pounds. So far, I'm not impressed. A lot of them are very loose. I'm able to get at least one, sometimes one and a half turns out of these screws before I get to the actual torque rating that this is spec for. So I'll come right back when I get all these set. Okay, so there we have it. These are all set to 30. I'm sorry, let me get my numbers right. These are all set to 20. Why 20? Because the, the torque value said 20 inches of, of uh, torque inch pounds of torque here. These are all set to 25 and these are all set to 35. Now I must say most of these were okay but there were some on these ground bars that were actually quite loose and there was almost all of these were not even close to 35 inch pounds. I was able to get a complete turn, turn and a half on one of them, two turns before I was able to get it bonded down. Now what we know about electricity and electrons is an electron traveling through a wire generates no heat. It generates heat when it's confronted with resistance. If these are loose, if these fittings are loose here, 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 um, then we're going to have some resistance. We're going to generate heat and we're going to have some problems here. Uh, it may not burn your RV down, but the electrons having a little bit harder time getting through um, the gap between the screw and the wire. So let's make sure that we torque this. I don't know what a torquing screwdriver costs. I bought this one years ago, but um, you can maybe borrow or rent one from an auto parts store. If I were to buy another one, I don't know. Let me mention this. If you're going to go out and get one, I don't know that I would get the handle kind like this. They make them that are more tea T-handled, um, because once you get to 35, some of the things we do go up to 45 inch pounds, and that's it's hard to get a good grip on this once you get up to these higher rating, ratings. This one's only rated to 50 inch pounds. I've never had to go that high, but um, anyway, um, so there you go on that. Now this DC side, you also need to torque those as well, but this type of panel in the back, wires hang out and there's the crimp connector. So there's really nothing to tighten. There's no torque value here, okay? So that is what you would need to do on your electrical configuration to make sure all your screws are tightened, okay? Hope that helps you. Okay, folks, so there you have it. I hope that uh, going through some of these, um, you know, annual maintenance type things on this RV uh, have helped you. Um, and if, if it has helped you, hey, give us a thumb up. It does help. And uh, subscribe to it. Share it with some friends. And uh, happy camper, say my RV works. And I think that now this, this RV and this camper are going to have a good summer in their, in their, in their coach. Uh, we've checked some of their systems. Everything's working great. So I expect good results from them. And I expect to hear good results from you as well. So hopefully my rambling and everything doesn't frustrate you too much. And um, just got too much in here I want to share with you. So, but that's why we break these videos up to kind of uh, search them by topic and whatnot. So, um, yeah, hey, help us out. Give us a thumb up. We appreciate you. And uh, happy camper, say my RV works. So this is Darren signing off. Bye-bye. <laughs>